from Martin Vasilic seven days ago. So riders now beginning to make their way towards the start line for the opening race of the night. And uh, Leon Madsen is out here with Huckenbeck, the wild card. Anders Thompson's out in the first race as well. And Anders, who is not having a great campaign so far, is down in 14th place at this stage. He's just got the 12 World Championship points, uh, Chris. Had yep. a spectacular win last year in Gorjov, and he needs to recapture that quickly. That form. Yes, he does. He's uh, warmed up for this evening with a, a decent 15-point maximum for Gorjov last night, so uh, he'll be feeling a little more confident, I would suggest. I'd like to think so. Winning races is always a good ingredient. It's better than losing them, that's for sure. Um, uh, track surface is slick. It's been uh, certainly plenty of work. They had a couple of um, test meetings here that didn't go to plan, but uh, there's no doubt that um, uh, the, uh, this afternoon's qualifying, the surface behaved nicely. Max Frick, who has been riding well, but not actually getting the points probably that he was looking for, just slipping up at vital moments and needs to put a Grand Prix together. He's in 10th place and searching for a top six. He has won two Grand Prix already. Leon Madsen on the inside gate. There you can see the water glistening on the surface yeah. there. This this race, this first race in particular, will be slippery, and I suspect they'll all be hunting the inside line. No question that everybody's got the same thing on their mind as they line up for this race. I've got to get to the kerb first. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a kerb here. It's just a bit of a white line. So the line-up for the first race, then, is Leon Madsen on the inside in red. Gate number two in blue is Kai Huckenbeck. Anders Thompson will come out of gate number three in white, and Max Frick off the outside in yellow. Going to be a long way from the outside in the first few races, that's for sure. You're going to have to drop the clutch absolutely spot on if you want to get to the first turn in front. Huckenbeck, useful performer around here. Starting going to be an absolute premium earlier on this evening, that's for sure. Heat number one then, we're away sharpish. They roar towards the first corner. Madsen gets there, holds it tight. Frick gets forced wide. That allows Anders Thompson up into second place. He took the opportunity with both hands. Going to be very, very difficult for Frick on the outside. He's just disappeared there out of vision. So slippery and no grip out there whatsoever. And two to form, Leo Madsen off the inside gate, fires himself to the front. Yeah, Max Frick, he's just trying to find a way up the inside at the back there of Kai Hilbert. He's got to stay out of the spray. He's actually possibly got two wheels over the white line there, as did Leon Madsen almost on the first turn. He really used every little bit of track possible to make sure he got up the inside, but he's kept himself clean. He actually chose gate position one in his first race, I think, with this pretty much in mind. Well, he's making it work. He just got his nose in front initially into the first corner, and he's roaring away out in front. Thompson was uh, took that opportunist move early in the race to come into second place, and he's made it stick. And Max Frick, unfortunately, couldn't make any headway around the outside. Madsen wins the first race of the night. Pretty comfortably in the end. Chased home by Anders Thompson. And uh, hook him back, back in third. But um, nonetheless, uh, the man that finished in second place seven days ago, full of confidence, and gets his evening off to the ideal start. Terrific stuff from him. And will he now get on a bit of a roll? The world number two, who really did want to take it to Bartosz Smarzik this year, the first three rounds. Um, uh, didn't quite work out. Madsen out in front, three points for him. Thompson back in second place, two points. Kai Hukenbeck, the wild card one, and Max Frick missing out in the opening race of the SGP round number four here in Tetra. Yeah, no surprises. Track conditions, uh, hard, slick, and a little wet. It's actually Kai Hukenbeck that probably makes the best jump. But Leon Madsen just uh, pushes his way into the turn, gets half his bike over the white line, and as Thompson sneaking his way up the inside there of Kai Huckenbeck as they uh, hit turn three on lap one. But we can see there the surface, it's very hard. There's a lot of surface water for Max Frick at the back. Really, if he doesn't get on the inside of them, he is going to get completely peeled in with every single corner. So, uh, but that man there, Leon Madsen, would be very happy for three points in his first race. Yeah, he bags the three points, and uh, certainly, if you're being super critical, um, uh, was it watered a little late? Possibly, but it's a warm evening, although half the track is in shade now, so um, uh, as the sun goes down, then the track won't dry out quite as quickly, but we've got heat number two now, and we've got three British riders going head-to-head -head right from the get-go in heat two. Bewley, the fastest man, by some distance in the qualifying earlier on today. He's out here alongside Ty Wolfenden and uh, Robert Lambert. The odd man out is Mikkel Mikkelsen here, the Danish rider. 
but uh, Robert Lambert knows what it's all about here as well. So Dan Bewley on the inside in the red helmet colour. Alongside him in gate number two in blue is Ty Wolfenden. Robert Lambert out of gate number three in white. And Miko Mickelson off the outside in yellow. And uh, Ty Dan Bewley's going along beautifully. There's no doubt about it, but he needs to make a final because the form yeah. is so strong. Ty Wolfenden, though, after a very poor evening seven days ago, <coughs> clearly needs to find his form and quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Yeah, it's a tough one to call. Uh, to be honest, Robert Lambert was the man of the three Brits that made the final last year, indeed his first final. He's coming off gate three statistically, not a good gate, perhaps a good time to have it early on, get it out of the way. Here we go then, eight number two, come on, happy and we're underway. And they roar away, Bewley quite comfortably hits the front, Mickelson's made a smashing effort from the outside there, but gets trapped because Robert Lambert now comes into second place, Wuffenden just caught in traffic there and he's out the back, but look at Lambert, Lambert's forced his way through nicely into second place there, classy ride from Robert Lambert, Dan Bewley now is going to have to have eyes in the back of his head because Robert Lambert holding the inside line, looking very, very strong. No, I don't think Dan Bewley's going to be leaving any more holes like that for Robert Lambert to uh, take a look look at but Robert Lambert super smooth first lap really uh, thinking quick on his feet into the first turn great cutback done just enough down the back straight to keep his nose ahead of Mickelson and Ty Wuffenden but Dan Bewley out qualified everybody today outpacing them in this one yeah way sharpest there the, the man of the race, really, and truthfully, is Robert Lambert. Mickelson showed strongly early to get into second place, but Lambert was smart, got himself through into second place and picks up a useful two points. But the three points go to Dan Bewley, and once again showing great form here, just like he did in Prague seven days ago. Disappointment for Wuffenden. That's uh, alarm bells ringing there right from the word go. Um, uh, he'll be disappointed with that. But uh, right now, Dan Bewley with the big three points in heat number two. Robert Lambert in second place, two points for him. Mickelson back in third, one point. And Ty Wuffenden missing out in his first ride this evening. But once again, Dan Bewley showing great composure. Didn't panic. He did move off the line, but responded in the, tar in, in the right nick of time because Lambert was coming strongly. Yeah, it shows the confidence that uh, Dan Bewley's riding with, the fact that he thought he maybe had the speed to move off the line at this early stage. But a uh, really, really good first turn, smart first turn. Just here, Robert Lambert is uh, definitely at the back of the field. He just turns back, gets up the inside, half the bike over the white line. We saw that earlier from Leon Madsen. He's now the meat in the sandwich, but he just... Holds his resolve there. He was quite close to getting both wheels over the white line. And uh, I think it was the second lap Dan Bewley ventured here off yeah. the curb and left a great big hole up the inside that Robert Lambert thought he might be able to take advantage of. But uh, certainly Dan Bewley learned from that one. Yeah. Kept it on the curb after that.